guys, it's me, Minis Game. We're back with another Order and Chaos video, and today I got the Metal Ziggurat Legendary walkthrough for you guys. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. So, first off, it's not that much different than normal. Um, the only difference is, you know, just, you know, the mobs and bosses are just stronger. And um, there really isn't any difference in strategy, but I'll tell you guys the strategy, uh, anyways, f hopefully for, or if I can, for uh, every class. But anyways, in the beginning here, you're going to get a few mobs of these little kind of uh, energy balls. <laughs> and they're very easy. Just um, for me, I just played shot them, and then the rest, um, you know, they just do their thing. It's easy there. Uh, but you just kill the mobs, and then you can skip a few of them. But the ones in the little kind of tight spaces, um, I think y you should just kill those guys. Uh, they're not too hard, but some you can skip. Um, and uh, you also see a few patrolling mobs. Just take those guys out, um, or you can skip them, whatever you want. But if you want the quickest way, I think it's just easier just to skip them. Um, but you gotta watch out for the Ziggurat Keepers, because um, you, you cannot take aggro. You gotta let the tank take aggro, because um, they stun, and when they stun, they hurt They hurt you a bunch. So um, I actually died, I believe, in this run just once, because I accidentally took aggro on one part. Um, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, they do stun, so watch out for that. So anyways, guys, once you get through with that, you're going to get these two kind of golems, these two mech tanks. And um, each one is basically, I'm guessing, guarding like doors. So um, when you kill these two, um, a door will open a left or right door. I don't believe there is a way to actually purposely get the left or right door. I think it's just, you know, it's just random. I really don't know. Um... But I, I usually just kill the left one because I really want the left door because it it, uh, they, uh, it drops the stuff that I need. But um, I don't know. After you kill those guys, a door will open. In this case, the right door opened for us. And so we went on ahead and skipped the mobs in the middle of there. You really don't need to because they just walk around in a circle. So the first boss here, the right boss, is the X11A. That's his name. And uh, he's very, very easy, guys. It's all strategy. Um, I've been with teams that don't know anything. And <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it's easy. Um, so all you have to do, just DPS him you know, nor as you normally would. Let Tank get aggro, of course. Uh, let him do his thing. Then after a while, every few couple of seconds, he's going to say, um, he's going to say, like, keep going, my servants, or, or go on, my servants, or something like that. And in that case, you want to look around. Just keep looking around. And you're going to see the bunch of these um, servants come around. They're going to be in a straight line doing this little slashing thing as they move on. So they're sweeping out, trying to wipe you guys out. And um, what you got to do, just going to walk around them, guys. Walk around them. Simple as that. Um, everyone has to do it, um, even the tank. And then once that's done, just go back in the middle. I think it's just easier to do that just in the middle and just DPS him. Um, and that's basically, that's all you have to do in this boss. Just move away from those mobs, or else if you get stuck in them, the monk can literally, he cannot hear, heal you because they do immense damage. So, um, you gotta watch out for them. So, once you're done that, that boss is down and down. It's very easy, guys. So, again, it's all strategy. It's all it is. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, now once you're done that, you do not get the left door open, so I went on and did another run. So here, guys, I wanted to show you guys the left boss. Um, left boss is, I, it's a bit harder, I guess. Um, well, it's not really harder, but you'll see him. But what you do is you attack the boss, um, this in case Patreon, that's his name. You uh, just DPS him normally, um, but you're going to see you're going to be getting zero damage. Um, which, uh, you're gonna see, so don't think it's like a glitch or anything. And you're gonna see he's calling all these mobs and these little kind of creature crabs. And once they're there, um, I, what I do is I just spam my split shot. I just spam it as much as I can. You just keep spamming, keep spamming, you know, everyone kills those little creatures, um, while on, on their eye on the boss's health. Because once the boss gets to about 10% health, I'd have to say, 15% health, um, it's gonna say Patreon is charging. And then it's going to say all of a sudden a long text. I forgot what it says. Uh, it, it says a long text. It says there's a fatal error um, in something. So meaning that he's charging. He's about to blow up. So what I do is I do full DPS to get my stance to go full DPS. Everyone should go full DPS on him. But um, when he does that, the dragon or um, the tank or someone needs to stun the boss. Um, I think that stops him from healing, I believe. So you're going to have to do that. And after you're done with that, um, he should die. Um, and if you fail to do so in the time required, it's like 10 seconds. If you fail to do that, he will blow up and just kill all of you. 
So you gotta watch out for that. But anyways, continuing my first run from before, uh, from the right boss. Gonna go ahead and go to the last boss, Core. Core is not open. He was once encased in a purple kind of crystal uh, pyramid, but now he is out. And um, he is pretty easy, I gotta say. Um, I think he's really easy. It's just strategy. Again, what me and my team basically do is a really good strategy. What we do is we go in this little, um, we go in this shape, and the tank is in one corner, and he gets the boss. He aggroes the boss, and then I wait a few seconds, then I attack. Um, and then me, mo and me and the monk stay sort of in the, in the other corner right next to it. And every now and then he's going to say the energy entity is um, healing his healing core, so interrupt it. So basically what the tank has to do there is he has to ankle slash and then run away. He has to run away to the next corner and we just go to the corner all in a circle. On the, uh, we go on the right. You can either go on the right or left. I go around uh, right, so um, you just do that. And at 75%, 50%, and 25% of his health, he's going to be calling an earthquake. Um, and what that does is he just casts Earthquake for, I gotta say, 10 seconds. Um, it does say to run away, but you really don't need to. What I do is I stay near Monk, um, along with the other DPS. And Tank could come in with Monk, um, during that. Um, but he really doesn't need to, if, he, if he's a strong tank, he's fine. Monk can just heal him after. But it's gonna stun you and you cannot move, so that's why I cannot snipe or anything. So all I do is, all I do is just rapid shot. And uh, he's just going to do that over and over again. So he's going to say healing core. You're going to have to run. Keep going in a circle. Every time earthquake happens in 75, 50, and 25% of his health. Got to watch out for that. Stay near monk so, so the monk can pray. The monk has to pray in that time. Um, if he does not, then you have to pot. That's all I got to say. You have to pot. But once he's down, the chest will appear. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Once you're done, there's going to be a little kind of portal, a little light flashing in one of the um, walkways. So you go through there and you'll be teleported out. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, hopefully, this helped you guys a lot in Legend. And, uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one.